So let's have a look at the graph. On x-axis there is time and on y-axis there is plasma concentration of the drug and percentage. So the x-axis is the time axis, let's say in hours, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 hours. Up here this is the plasma concentration of the drug and this is our curve. So before going further, let me introduce you to the term bioavailability again. So bioavailability is the fraction of the drug that reaches the plasma in an unchanged form. And in this example, we are going to discuss a case in which the drug is given by IV bolus or by a direct IV injection, which means the plasma concentration of the drug will increase very rapidly. So in case of an IV injection, if 100 milligram of a drug is given, we assume that 100% of the drug will reach the plasma. And in a very short time, the drug will achieve 100% concentration in the plasma. Again, half-life is the time required by the drug in the body or the plasma concentration to fall by half. So let's draw and connect lines on the graph. So for example, if the half-life of a drug is one hour and we have given 100 milligram of the drug, therefore when the first hour time is elapsed or passed, there will be 50 milligram of the drug left in the plasma or it will be 50% available in the plasma, which means one half-life is now elapsed and we have 50 milligram of the drug left. After one more hour, or 2 hours in total, we will have 25 milligram or 25% of the drug available in the plasma. So what that means is that during the first half-life period, the body was able to eliminate 50% of the drug. In the second half-life period, it eliminated 25% of the drug. And this brings us to the concept of first-order elimination which says that first order elimination kinetics depend on the concentration of the drug. This is the concentration of the drug in which a constant fraction of the drug, constant fraction of the drug in the body is eliminated per unit time. The majority of the drugs are eliminated in this way. So simply, first order kinetics means predictable halving of the concentration with each passing time interval. So predictable halving of the drug with each passing time interval. And that represents the first order kinetics of elimination. Now let's see what happens after three hours or three half lives. So since we only have 25 milligram of the drug left now, and the half of that would be 12.5 milligram. So we will go down to 12.5 milligram or 12.5%, which means in the third half life period, we are eliminating 12.5 milligram of the drug. So interesting, in first half life period, we eliminated 50 milligram of the drug. In second half life period, we eliminated 25 milligram and third half-life 12.5 milligram were eliminated because the rate of elimination of a drug is observing first-order kinetics, i.e. a constant fraction of the drug in the body is eliminated per unit time. And this is the predictable halving of the concentration with each passing time interval. In this way, the elimination of the drug with each passing time interval will go on unless the drug is completely eliminated of the body.